Hey y'all, try this. Today I am doing uh, Chick-fil-A nugget sauces. Uh, it's when, when, when you like, when you go in store, you can ask them what sauces they have and they will tell you, usually they'll tell you most of these. They don't add in this stuff down here and they don't mention ketchup usually as a sauce. They will, they will tell you like Polynesian barbecue, sweet and spicy sriracha, zesty barbecue, ranch, honey mustard, and the Chick-fil-A. <clears throat> but when you go into the app uh, to do a mobile order or mobile pickup, uh, it gives you more options. And I, we're going to test all the options and rank them and see which ones I think is the best. So um, I eat at Chick-fil-A maybe a couple of times a month. So I have my go-to sauces, but I don't think I've ever tried them all. So we're actually going to give them all a try today. And we will start off by just going through, telling you the sauce, showing it to you. And then we're going to test them all, rank them. You got the Chick-fil-A sauce, their sauce, the Chick-fil-A sauce. Got their honey mustard. The Garden Herb Ranch. Zesty Buffalo. Sweet and Spicy Sriracha. Barbecue. Polynesian. Ketchup. Their little ketchup thing now we get into some of the other ones and like I said these are the ones when you go in the when you go in the app you can check out the you also got mustard they do French's mustard <laughs> they also have Texas Pete hot sauce this one is uh, one of my favorites pure honey And this is one that I didn't even know they had. So most of y'all might not even know they had it. It comes in the pack, not in these things, which they tell you about. It's honey roasted barbecue. It's kind of a yellowish color. It kind of looks like a mustard based barbecue sauce. Um, oh, I just turned it around. Look, it is. Uh, the... You got the first ingredients is soybean oil, sugar, water, distilled vinegar, honey, and mustard. Before you get into the other stuff, which is the barbecue sauce stuff. Because it does have, the rest of the stuff in there is pretty much barbecue sauce stuff. So, <coughs> it is, but like I said, these, these are ones, this is, this is something I, I didn't even know they had. Like I said, I saw it in the app and I'm like, huh. And then I got there and I asked for the, the sauces that I wanted. And whether you know it or not, when you go to um, Chick-fil-A, unlike Burger King, Burger King, McDonald's, some of these other places, most of the Chick-fil-A's, if you ask for, when you get different, their, their nuggets, uh, you can ask for, give me one of every sauce you got. And they will actually give it to you for free. So, but then they won't give you this. Well, they won't give you the mustard. They won't give you the... They, they give you one of each of these. They don't give you the ketchup. They don't give you um, pure honey. They don't give you the hot sauce. They don't give you the mustard. And they don't give you the honey roasted. Like all this stuff, the packed stuff and the ketchup, you have to ask for separately. If you tell them to give you one of every, all their sauces, they'll just give you one of these. And uh, I actually enjoyed my Chick-fil-A the other day. So I did... Uh, some nugget, some popcorn chicken that we had in the freezer. And that is going to be my testing stuff. Most of it's going to come straight out of the container. But since some of these are packs, I'm going to open them up and put them in these little cups. Uh, this first one right here is going to be regular mustard. 
the French is mustard. Then I'm going to do the Texas Pete hot sauce, which oddly enough is from Winston Salem, North Carolina. <laughs> I just looked at that. Pure honey. And then, for the first time ever, we're going to try some honey roasted barbecue. Let's go on and open up some of these too so that it doesn't take a long time. Try to put them in my ranking order. And um, while I'm doing this, I'll tell you, there is actually, when you add in all of the sauces, there's 14 sauces. So I, I, I did not realize they had that many sauces. Like I said, when you, when you order the nuggets, they'll just tell you the main, is it 14? The count wrong? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 sauces. My bad. 12 sauces. I know what I'm thinking about. i got another video I'm going to be doing. So there are actually 12 sauces. And again, we've got all of them. Then I have one of each in the things. And we are going to start off with, just to get it out of the way, my son, he, his favorite thing is he's a ketchup on ketchup on ketchup person. Oh, and the ketchup is Heinz. So it's French as mustard, but Heinz ketchup. Not awful. But didn't have any other, other sauces at the store. They were out. Ketchup would work fine for a dipping sauce. So as of right now, Heinz is... I mean, Heinz, I don't know why I said Heinz. <laughs> Heinz is number one as of right this minute. I know it's not going to stay there, though. Let's go to, what is this? Try the honey mustard. Honey mustard. It's a decent honey mustard. And it's definitely kicking ketchup down. Alright, what about 
I'm going to go for next. Garden Herb Ranch. I was actually surprised. I'm not really a big ranch fan. But their ranch just took first place. For now. <laughs> uh, next up is their Chick fil A sauce, their signature sauce. Flavor. There's something in there that not awful. And that that was kind of a toss up between honey mustard and and it. I'm actually going to do, do what I was going to do. Honey mustard is going to stay where it's at. Chick fil A sauce isn't bad, but just not a favorite. Let's try Zesty Buffalo. And it tastes like a buffalo sauce. It even looks like a buffalo sauce. What a lot of y'all, well, not what a lot of y'all, what some of y'all may not know is buffalo sauce is basically hot sauce mixed with butter for the most part. Some people use the cheap old fake butter, but... Buffalo sauce or wing sauce in a lot of cases. <clears throat> it's not actually going to be hotter than hot sauce because that's what they, they do. They actually add like a butter to it, whatever, to kind of take it down just a little bit. And make it, it also makes it from being so runny, it thickens it up a little bit. Mm, the buffalo sauce. has just a little bit too much acidity in it for me. So it's going to go right there in third for right now. Mm. Let me get that out of my mouth because it's kind of... I don't want it to affect the next taste. You know what? I'm going to go straight into the hot sauce. Texas Peach Hot Sauce. I actually like the Texas Peach hot sauce, 
better than the buffalo sauce. Put it right here. <clears throat> Probably should have saved the hot sauces for the last because trying to figure out a way right now where I can bring it back down to not affecting the taste um, the other things. I'm going to do something right here, but this is not where I'm actually tasting it. Tasting it. I mean, I'm, I will. Okay. You know what? I'll go on and just say it. This is pure honey. If you've seen my McDonald's video, pure honey. Number one. And I went on and did honey because I was hoping just to knock the heat down from that stuff. Not hot, but the... <clears throat> the little things that are supposed to be heat... Could mess me up with tasting some of these others, so I wanted to. And I knew this honey was going to be. Most of the honeys from these places are going to taste the same, so it's not really going to affect my taste of honey. So, <clears throat> got honey for there. Now, let's go to barbecue. Give a try to barbecue. Got a nice little smokiness to it. As of now, I'm surprised ranch is still way up here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ranches in second. I'm surprised by that, but it's just getting knocked down. Barbecue's taking it down a notch. All right, so. That's where we're going to go from there. Let's go to French's Mustard. <coughs> the young one's right there. He didn't want to be a part of this video. Hey. You got some food over there. So, French is mustard. Let's get back to it. Fine mustard. French is. Even though these are two totally different tastes. I'm putting French's there. Okay, so we're down to the final three. And I'm saving Sriracha for last because it probably will have a little bit. I mean, I don't know. It may have a little bit of a kick to it. And I don't want it to mess up the other two. <coughs> uh, we're going to go with Polynesian, which is one of my favorite. When it, uh, the cup sauces 
to my knowledge, it's my favorite one. Um, some of y'all may know, may not know, if you like Chick-fil-A. They now sell like Polynesian sauce, Chick-fil-A sauce, and one more of these in bottles. But here's the funny thing to me. When you buy their Polynesian sauce in the bottle, I don't actually like it. <clears throat> well, it's not bad. But the weird thing is, is it looks like their Polynesian sauce, which is kind of this reddish color, but it tastes like honey mustard. I don't know why. So that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Because the Polynesian sauce, I remember compared them like this. No. There is a very different Polynesian just gets bumped up to right there with honey. It's that they got that perfect little thing of sweet in there, but all right. Now we're getting to two that I know I haven't tried. The one that, when uh, when you ask for this too, if you tell them you want the, when you start to say the, that you want the honey roasted barbecue, half the time the, they just don't really pay attention and they'll grab you. If you tell them that for a nugget, they'll grab the honey mustard. And you have to say, no, 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 I mean the honey roasted barbecue sauce. And they'll get it for you. And then some of the times when you start to say honey, they will tell you, hey, the honey's right over there. Which they keep it on the little counter to the side. Uh, so you got to make sure you tell them you want the honey roasted barbecue sauce. And that's what we're about to go with. Honey roasted barbecue. Never tried this before. I'm debating. I like honey roasted barbecue. I'm debating on whether it's going to take spot two or not. From Polynesian. Because even though mustard's one of the first ingredients, it doesn't have a heavy mustard taste. It also doesn't have a heavy barbecue taste. It didn't. It doesn't take down Polynesian, but it's third for sure. Depending on the day, I mean, I could have either one of these right up here. These are my favorite three. I'm always going to get honey Polynesian or. Honey roasted barbecue from now on. Only one thing left to try. A sweet and spicy sriracha. Pretty good. Like I said, I don't know what this one tastes like really. Hmm. I like that. Is it better than ketchup? Absolutely. Is it better than Chick-fil-A? Absolutely.
is it better than zesty buffalo absolutely better than texas peep hot sauce yep better than honey mustard mm-hmm better than french yellow mustard yep now i'm getting torn because it's going to be somewhere in this range the barbecue the ranch or the <clears throat> it's not as good as any as any of these three for sure the battle now is for fourth who's going to take it Ranch versus barbecue, barbecue wins. So now we'll do ranch versus sriracha. like the sriracha is a mix of barbecue and zesty buffalo <clears throat> and because of that it's not as good as barbecue because zesty buffalo is the, something about the I actually would probably it's almost a toss-up, but today, I'm actually, and this is surprising me, I'm leaving ranch where it's at. They have a pretty good ranch. So. Now I got to try the king again. Because oh, here's the king. Honey. 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 Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> All right, y'all. <clears throat> y'all have it. Count three, two, no, twelve sauces for the nuggets. Number one, honey. You can never beat honey, <laughs> in my opinion. Straight up honey. Number two, the Polynesian sauce. Number three, like I said, surprising for one I've never tried before. Honey roast barbecue. Very surprised by that. Number four, straight up barbecue. Number five, the Garden Herb Ranch. Number six, sweet and spicy sriracha. So, <coughs> <coughs> That's where we'd cut it in half at. Right there. Top six, bottom six. And these aren't all completely bad. They're just not, I would never do them. I mean, these would be, I'd get this if they were out of everything above it. I'd get this if they were out of everything above it. I'd get this if they were out of everything above it. Same all the way up to here. Actually, I'd say same all the way up to here. These three would be are gonna are now my go-to's honey honey roast barbecue polynesia 
Anyway, back to the ranking. Number seven, French's mustard. Number eight, honey mustard. Number nine, Texas peach hot sauce. Number 10, Zesty Buffalo. Number 11, Chick-fil-A, their signature sauce. And 12, Ketchup. To me, there's just something about ketchup and chicken. I just don't like ketchup and chicken together. My my young son, the one that was right, he disagreed with you. He'd rather have ketchup. When he was a kid, we used to joke that he used to... <coughs> <coughs> when people would say, what's his favorite thing to eat? You'd say ketchup. And then you'd say, and if he wants a little bit extra, he'd put some ketchup on his ketchup. If he could fry ketchup and dip fried ketchup in ketchup, he would do it. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe somebody could create that. But, uh... Anyway, there we go. That's the 12 Chick-fil-A sauces. For me, your best bet, honey, Polynesian, honey roasted barbecue. And uh, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, give a share. And uh, we got some more videos we're going to be back with in just a little bit. Thanks for watching.